Well, 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 guys, now that the Helldivers battle is starting to simmer down a little bit and we have gotten our win against Sony, obviously, just a reminder, we need to freeze Stellar Blade, ladies and gentlemen. Can we take some of that momentum and go freeze Stellar Blade? But while we're on the discussion of Helldivers, let's talk about the fact that Grums has been getting attacked by the community managers over there at Arrowhead Studios. Now, here's the sad thing about all this going down. Yes, we did win the battle when it comes to Helldivers 2, but the issue is now all the goodwill that the company is going to garner by bending the knee to gamers and giving them what they want. The, the problem with that goodwill is that it's going to be completely shot out into the sun and burned alive by these community managers that absolutely hate gamers in every way imaginable. Now, we have talked about a lot of these community managers over the last few days, you know, Baskinator being one of them. I think that's Squidgian or Pidgeon or something along the lines of the name. I forgot the name. Uh, but still, we've talked about these community managers, uh, Spitz, one of them as well. And they do not like gamers, all right? They absolutely do not like gamers. They've made it very clear, just like every single one of these community managers out here and moderators in Discord and whatnot that work for them, they do not like gamers. It is so freaking clear. And they've made their, you know, they made their grievances known, let's say. Well, apparently, one just recently, the moderator just recently came out and accused Grums of sexual assault. Now, that is not something you accuse someone of without any evidence whatsoever, even fake evidence. I mean, at this point, if you're just saying those words out there, free will for everyone to just consume, that is insane. That is ridiculous. And the fact that people think they could get away with that, it just goes to show where we are in today's world. So let's get into this article, guys, from that park place. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. It says Grums calls for Helldivers 2 community manager team to be fired after moderator accuses him of sexual assault. Now, it's to my understanding that if you were to talk about or mention Grums in the Discord for Helldivers, um, I don't know how it is now, but it was to my understanding if you mentioned him and have a conversation about him, that that was grounds for like banning. That was grounds for either ban banning, silencing, whatever. Like they don't like this guy. A lot of these mainstream uh, people in gaming do not like Grums. And it's very clear that they're going to try everything they can to try to silence the conversation around Grums because they don't want him to garner any attention. But it says Mark Kern, aka Grums, the former World of Warcraft team lead, called for Arrowhead Game Studios to fire their community manager team after one of the company's discord moderators accused Kern of sexual assault now from in my opinion if the moderator did it like you really shouldn't call for the firing of people that didn't have anything to do with it right like if you're gonna if you're gonna get someone fired you sh it should be the person who is who is doing it right so i can understand wanting the moderator fired if they work for arrowhead or just getting him demoted or whatever the case may be but we're not going to fire the people who weren't involved with it right now don't get don't get me wrong these community managers should be fired okay they are absolutely bad at their job but let's fire them for something different you know what i mean it's not like they said that you did a uh, sexual assault not to my knowledge anyway but let's find out first grums shared to x screenshots of helldivers 2 discord moderator purple squid Jim, uh who has since renamed his account to bird accusing him of sexual assault now this person renamed their account because they don't want to get in trouble right they they don't want to get stalked they don't want to get harassed they don't want to get whatever and a lot of people once that name gets out there uh you know they get a lot of message requests they get a lot of harassment i get that but this person is also changing the name to hide now the thing is you shouldn't be able to hide right you shouldn't be able to hide from making a comment like that if you're going to come out and accuse someone of sexual assault not once but twice you absolutely deserve to get some hate for that i'm just being honest with you you have no proof whatsoever and yet you're going to make these statements because you feel very safe online and now you're finding out what happens when you fuck around it says in a post that appears to be deleted uh purple legion uh wrote in the hell divers 2 discord someone who sexually assaulted many people he worked with lost his position as ceo now is a far right influencer who had people attack more than one of our community managers and their families now Let's be very clear. When someone uses language like far-right influencer, 
you already know where they stand, okay? You already know where they stand. They don't even have to tell you. You can get all the information you need from someone saying far-right influencer. That means they are an extreme leftist. That means they probably have pronouns in their bio. That means they are way too far gone. So, they like, everything that they tie, everybody that they hate, they automatically say is a far-right influencer. That's what they do. Then it says, however, in another post, he wrote, anyone here who is a Grums fan, please uh, out yourself so I can help you out the door. So again, this person was actively saying, if you're a Grums fan, I'm going to ban you. That's how he was acting in the Discord. That's who's representing Arrowhead Studios, which again is why we have a big problem with this whole thing about winning the battle. Because yeah, we won the battle. We don't have to link our accounts, but we still have this community team that fucking hates our guts and they make it clear every chance they get. They're supposed to be fostering a community and yet they're doing anything but that. It says, when confronted on his accusations, uh, Perp Legion doubled down, writing slander implies that it was a lie, thus doubling down and saying that what he's saying is true. Kern reacted to these posts, writing, Helldivers moderator Purple Squid Jim falsely proclaims that I have sexually assaulted many people. Falsely claims I sent people to attack their community managers and their families, currently banning anyone who defends me or even likes a comment that defends me from his slander. He added, Helldivers 2, Johan, this is not okay, and your community team is out of control and lying. Also, I am not far right. I am actually left of center. But these radicals have pushed all sanity into a bucket and kicked it off a cliff. Now, Nothing wrong with saying that, and I do think the CEO needs to rein his community managers in because if he doesn't, it's going to, I'm telling you right now, it's going to destroy any and all goodwill that this company just got from the reversal of the PSN requirement. I'm telling you, it's going to go out the window, and they have to do something about these community managers. If you're not going to fire them, then you need to make sure that every single thing that comes out of their fingers when they type is something that is heavily filtered. They need You need to look through it before it goes. They they need, they need your permission, let's just say, before they can put anything out there. Following this post, it appeared that the Helldivers 2 Discord moderation team began actively blocking the word Grums. Yeah, I'm not surprised. X user every uh what is that? Every Equin Inch attempted to post a message reading, Is that one mod still freaking out about Grums? and received the message. This content is blocked by the server from server moderators. This message was prevented by an auto mod rule created by Probot. Wow, so imagine having an Autobot enabled just to hide the word grums i mean listen that goes to show how much power grums actually has if you are trying to make an automated bot just to block his name you are giving this man an insane amount of power not only over you but over your community a lot of people are gonna wonder gee why is this guy blocked let me go look him up and see what he's talking about that makes all these community managers so uncomfortable and then what ends up happening is when most people look into it they end up actually agreeing with him so what you're doing is you're just bolstering his numbers you're bolstering his power over you and they don't even realize that current reacted mention my name is banned from hell divers discord they are blaming me for their own pr mess no they should blame themselves for their own pr mess Hey, I wasn't the one that required PSN accounts, he added. You can blame me all you want, but this one is on you. I agree. There's no reason to blame Grums for it. That's such a cop-out. If you are blaming Grums for what happened to you after it was your decision to not only make the accounts not required in the first place, and then suddenly three months later to make them required, yeah, that's your fault, bro. Don't, don't point the finger at Grums. That's stupid. He then called the community manager to be fired. Uh, current road jokes aside, this is a dangerous precedent. If you become too effective, a critic of Sony and Arrowhead Game Studios, and stand up for gamers, they will ban your name from the Helldivers Discord server and personally attack you. This is blatant abuse of community manager power. Worst community manager team in history. Fire them, he declared. Now, again, I don't know if this was something that you should fire all the community managers they have for, considering that it was one moderator that said what they said. But you got to imagine if these rules are in place, then that means that the other community managers uh, know about them and enforce them and probably advocate for them. So when you really think about it on a grand scale, yeah, probably you might want to get rid of the entire team because they seem obviously very toxic and they're not really there to try to make gamers feel any more comfortable or to try to foster a community in hell divers. So we'll see what ends up happening. But shout out to gamers for an epic W over Sony. That's something that should not be ignored. But we need to free Stellar Blade, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.